Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general read for the collective of Twin Flames and Soulmates, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Um, I'm going to make this uh, really uh, quick, the reading. So if those of you uh, new on the journey, uh, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be uh, Divine Masculine and be a female. Or vice versa you can take it how it resonates i also use terms like you he she they that person um your person um that could be you or um the person you're thinking about or someone close in the equation okay so again this is general so it's not going to resonate with everyone so um if it doesn't resonate you know if it gives you more questions and answers then it's just not your reading you know don't try to make it fit Okay, I do offer personal readings. All that information is below in the description. The link to my site, um, the links to the decks that I'm using, my Instagram information where I do daily messages and some pick a cards. And also if you would like to support the channel with a donation, um, that is much appreciated. All that information is below, along with the jellyfish lamp here that a lot of people love and um, they are not real. Okay, just to let you know if you're new watching. All right, so this is just going to be a really quick uh, check on the Divine Masculine to see um, where's his energy at um, and just get a little maybe a quick uh, energy as to what he might, he might be dealing with at this uh, current time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and that is pretty much it. Okay, these are the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle cards and just the energy so the divine masculine is in the energy of movement. So this is about change, okay? This is about like a major change. This could be a change of, you know, his way of thinking, um, but this also is more of a physical change, okay? So this could be him moving or him wanting to move out of a situation, changing um, his uh, relationship um, or relationships or career or anything. And we have the number 11, okay? Which 11 has been coming up a lot uh, lately. So I do feel like there's some kind of awakening uh, happening because this is about a spiritual alignment as well as 11, um, you know, come up for twin flames. Okay, I'm gonna get one more card for the energy and we have this imprisonment. So someone, again, oh my God, another 11 and is there 20, two to nines so this could be significant to uh some of you guys this could be something that happened on the 29th or it's going to happen on the 29th but that's two 11s a reading i did yesterday had two 11s back to back too okay um so there's definitely some kind of awakening so this is about feeling mentally trapped you get out you know being trapped in a situation trapped in a job trapped in your feelings um but you have 11 11 so this um, could be, again, about um, spiritual alignment, spiritual awakening, um, and also twin flame connections. All right, so I'm going to get one more card here for um, to start this energy off, because I'm just going to do, like I said, four cards, and then I'm going to, um, if I can, if I need to clarify it, then I'll go further if it's not clear, okay? So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. What is this uh, movement change involved? So we have unexpected income. I think this came out in a reading um, yesterday about someone needed to hear. Okay, so we have, this is about an unexpected realization or this could be money that comes in unexpectedly. Um, this could be about an invite. Um, so we'll see what this is about. Those are the Kipper cards if I didn't say. These are the Mystic Moon uh, Twin Flame Oracles. So let's see what this unexpected income is about. Guide. Okay. So he might be receiving some type of guidance. Okay. Or he might be realizing he need um, to get guidance or something, you know, something has come to him unexpectedly that he might need to, uh, you know, seek guidance. I think I pretty much said that. It is early for me to do readings, so my voice probably is raspy, just to give you a warning. <laughs> but you probably already heard since I've been talking. <laughs> All right, so let's see why this um, unexpected and this guide has to do. 
So I see the guide is kind of going within, looking within, okay? And going into the dark, seeing a light. Interestingly enough, just really quick, um, I had a dream last night and it was more, these dreams that I have are more not like dreams. They're more of like, a, I feel like I'm going into another conscious level because it actually scares me because it's the only type of dreams I'm unable to wake myself out of. And I kept trying to turn the light on. I was in my house and I thought I was awake because it looked like I was in my house. Um, I, like I said, I don't have these type of dreams very often. And I kept trying to turn the light on and it wouldn't come on. And I would go from room to room and I realized something was wrong, okay, because the lights wouldn't come on. And um, so anyways, I don't know. It, I'm just feeling like a, a need to say that because of this uh, guidance maybe um, a light needed to come on or light is coming on. Um, someone in the dark is trying to find their way out into the light. That's where I'm getting this relation for this dream. It, I just felt I needed to say this. Okay, so let me just go ahead and go on now. So why is unexpected income and guide here? Throat chakra. Okay, so this is about a change. All right, so this is about communication this um, divine masculine is um, he may be feeling mentally trapped because he's unable to communicate something, um, something that he's wanting to speak, uh, something he's wanting to say, possibly to the divine feminine. OK, five represents change as well. OK, you do have a number nine here, which is about, you know, near an uh, end of a, a cycle, near a completion. OK, so. Um, there's, this has something to do with communication, an un unexpected realization that he needs to communicate, or maybe he's, um, the divine feminine might have, uh, communicated to him in some kind of a way, maybe through a dream and it's causing some type of, uh, feeling of him wanting to change. Like if feeling of that feeling of feeling trapped, like he can't communicate. Okay. So let me see what's, get some more information. Those were the psychic tarot cards. If I said I don't remember, probably did. All right. <laughs> Universal weight uh, tarot cards are the ones I have right now. Why is unexpected income guide and throat chakra here? The devil. Okay. So I feel you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. This represents the sign of Capricorn. Doesn't mean so. But this also has to do with, um, you know, obsessions toxic energies, addictions. Um, it also could have to do with passion, okay, as well. So this um, this divine masculine could be um, receiving um, an unexpected realization about someone maybe that he has a uh, desire with for some um, to communicate or maybe needing to communicate it to um uh, a toxic energy like he wants to change this because we do have this imprisonment um, energy so there might be some type of realization that he's getting that he might need to make a change in this energy of um, something toxic okay like he's being guided to communicate um, something I'm feeling has to do with either addictions or karmic energy or something of that nature. So I'm going to see what's on the bottom here before I feel I need to clarify anything further. High Priestess of Spirit. It's another uh, seven. Uh, I'm going to check really quick what that one is. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, I've got like a couple more minutes to get into this reading. I, just to get to see what this is about. Um, I am night goddess of night, and you have chosen a symbol to help guide you to the journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit with all, in all living things. Know that all things, events, experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so remember I was saying the dark and the guide. Okay. My child, everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience all are orchestrated by me to help you come to the powerful being that you meant to become. 
no matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to the what, okay, um, soon enough. But I keep a secret of why, okay? You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery, okay? So I'm also sensing that divine uh, masculine possibly might have um, got something unexpected, possibly through the divine feminine, um, either through a dream or, or something, something happened and, um, it guided him to question things. And, um, now he's like, it, something triggered him is what I'm feeling. Something triggered him to realize maybe he's dealing with some type of, uh, toxic energy, um, when it comes to him and the divine feminine, he's wanting to change. And, um, it say, it talks about orchestrating an event. So, um, the divine might have orchestrated something to happen, some type of change between some type of addiction or uh, toxic energy that he might have been involved with. And now he's questioning it, whether he should talk about it um, or talk to the karmic or talk to the, the, um, the, the feminine. But there's something that has I feel has triggered him. OK, so do you have here? Um, a coffin, which is about an ending. It's about um, transitions as well. And then we have this abandoned. So someone, he might be receiving um, guidance to abandon a situation, a toxic uh, energy. Okay. He might feel like he needs to communicate this, that he might have even already left um, a toxic energy. And holding it in could be um, causing him mental torment. Because again, we have mental conflict here. Imprisonment. This is the two of swords. So this is being at that, you know, a stalemate block. He might be blocking information that he's already left a situation. That he's already ended a situation. Or he wants to communicate about it. Okay. Or communicate to the uh, toxic energy. Whether that's a person or a thing that he has left a situation. So you have the chariot after here, which is another seven. Sevens and elevens have been coming up a lot. Okay. This is about the divine as well. The chariot is about movement forward. Okay. And nothing uh, stopping the, the chariot. And we do have under there, I had to show you, is the um, the six of cups, which is about an energy of returning, wanting to return to the past. So something is happening. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have to show you that under there. Awakening. So in divine masculine, oh my gosh, okay, I have to pick this up. Awakening divine masculine. Divine masculine is awakening, like I mentioned in the beginning of this uh, reading, okay? So I really don't feel I need to clarify anything further. I'm going to pretty much leave it there. Uh, this divine masculine is having an awakening, okay? And he's being guided and he's possibly wanting to change. He's wanting to communicate something. OK, something that he's been holding in, something involving um, uh, possibly a toxic situ situation. Um, you do have like a lot of blue here in this energy. So I do feel like there is something he's wanting to communicate. He's wanting to change this or some communication has come his way that is causing him to change. Something is awakening in him. OK, so I hope that resonated with you guys. I'm going to leave it right there because I'm short on time and I just want to do something really quick. So if that resonated uh, for you, please um, like, comment or share. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. Um, all that information is below. These cards are below the lamp and most of the things that you see are um, below in the description with the link. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love and light.